Hi, talking about mirroring the smart controller to my Surface Pro computer, it, it works perfectly. As you can see, this is a touch screen computer, which uh, allows me to touch the screen and move it around, as you can see. But also, if I wanted to, I can actually affect the controls of the smart controller. See, and um, I placed it here, and it's all controlled by a piece of software called Screen Copy. I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, the results of capturing or mirroring this screen to my uh, laptop allows me to then go into OBS software and have something like this. It's basically um, using the capture window, as you can see, game capture. Go into that, highlight that, select the cogwheel. As you can see, capture specific window, select that. And then the window you're capturing is uh, screen copy, non-console, EXE, RM500. That's what you're selecting. And okay, that, if I just tap that. And you've got this, this extra camera capture window. So here, put in a corner, it's a video capture device which is basically this camera on top here so I'm using that to show you my face in the corner as I'm flying and if I live stream that it will live stream whatever I'm flying uh, if I wanted to I could just um, swipe up and I'll just get the camera view without all the telemetry but I don't want to do that I just want to fly with all the overlays here and this is the result of using mirror casting to uh, the laptop capturing the window and then outputting it to OBS if you wanted to. Now to actually use the software to do um, to link this laptop to the uh, smart control controller you need to go into um, this website. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's um, github.com Jenny Mobile forward slash screen capture, screen copy, sorry. And it'll be this uh, link here. The screen copy win 64 uh, version 1.16 zip and this is all the instructions on how to link that but basically you get a copy of that download this um, zip file and uh, if I just uh, go into the sorry if I go into the download folder you'll see the zip file and if I just show the folder um, this is the extracted version of the zip file so I've just gone into that and if I right click into this screen copy non-console um, you can either open or create a shortcut on there you go, shortcut on the desktop or in my case I wanted to pin to the taskbar on the side so if I just uh, show you this is the taskbar so I created a shortcut change the icon so it looks something recognizable like this little symbol here 
um, pin nut to the taskbar to the side there and every time I tap onto this this screen will appear only if I connect this USB to the USB link here on the smart controller and make sure that the controller is working now for this you need to do an extra step here because uh, I forgot to mention you need to go into the settings and make sure that at the bottom it's in developer mode for this to happen you need to go into um, about controller so if I tap on that and then go all the way down and tap system version now you need to tap that seven times I think anyway it says you're in already in developer mode but once you go into the about and system version you'll you'll be in developer mode um, go out of that and you'll see that option once you go into the developer mode you need to make sure that the USB debugging uh, switch is on which is on the right so make sure that it's in blue and that's it to link this to the computer uh, tap that out anyway I'm st still using this I'm still learning and seeing if uh, if there's any bugs with this but at the moment I'm seeing it's a pretty great piece of software which links and mirrors the smart control and there's no seem there's no bugs about it uh, but I haven't tested this out flying yet so who knows it could be different out out in the field but so far um, testing this out seems to be working anyway I hope that this uh, uh, tip will help you to do better live streams please like and subscribe for some more hints and tips I do more drone stuff and vlogs and I'll see you guys again Cheers. Bye.